next guy is going to be this uh, Danito 545. And so there's a lot of text kind of from him. He has his own thread kind of going on. He's gotten hormone panels recently. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of a little bit of summarizing here. Essentially, he's looking at I have some symptoms. Should I be on TRT? Some people are telling him no. Some people are telling him yes. He's talking about potentially using HCG. Some people are telling him no and yes. Um, and so his main symptoms when we asked him essentially like, you know, why are you looking at this? Why do you want to start this? Because he he's younger. I believe in his other thread he mentions he's like 21 or 24 or something like that. But his main things is that he's always felt relatively behind, uh, behind his peers, I'm guessing. And he says he's had like some gyno or man boobs since he was in grades nine to 10. Um, you know, he's done weight training. He's been eating better, but he, the gyno stayed. And so, you know, we don't know for sure if that's real gyno where it's like actual breast tissue growth or if it's just, hey, you're overweight, so you have a bigger chest, which is something I dealt with before. Um, and so what he wants is to improve muscle synthesis, uh, some strength, and improve some nagging pains, especially in, in uh, non-joint areas, uh, increase overall energy, uh, desire for effort and focus. Uh, he says he might have ADHD. Um, and so, yeah, we were asking like, why do you want to do HCG? And those are his, his reasons, right? And so we're going to talk about like, I look at that and I'm like, okay, so for everyone there, what does HCG do, right? Um, so that's a, that's a human chorionic gonadotropin, right? And essentially what that does is it treats infertility, one, right? It treats hypogonadism, which is, you know, smaller testes, if that is a problem. And it essentially promotes natural testosterone production by treating your testes. Um, and so the only one thing out of those two things or those three things because you got the infertility, the testy size, and the testosterone. Well, the only thing out of all those that would treat those symptoms would be the increased testosterone production, right? So if you're you're looking to improve those symptoms and you're doing HCG, you're only doing HCG for the testosterone. It sounds like you might benefit from a more direct measure of hey, you're just taking it for the testosterone testosterone treatment. So TRT sounds like it might be what you're looking for versus the HCG. Because unless you're trying to get someone pregnant and you're having issues, it just kind of seems like you're adding an extra step. At least that's my general take on HCG versus TRT. Like you might as well go with a more controlled route, be more direct, like, okay, I can math out exactly what I need. I can adjust my dose a little bit easier. Because, um, you know, TRT is very straightforward milligrams per week equals how much test you're going to get to variables of, you know, the tour four to six times. They're very predictable. Um, so he's young. He may not need these things. I know that when I was young, I just had to keep trying different diets and different workouts, but he also might. Um, so Garrett, if you maybe want to take a look at some of his, his hormone panel results, or maybe share your thoughts on it, because, you know, he, he seems very, he wants something is my take like he wants to do something about it but maybe i don't know is trt for him based on the hormone panels that he posted in that other thread uh maybe you know is your opinion the same as my opinion of like trt or you know give me maybe give me some of your thoughts on the more science portion of it sure so yeah um hcg again it's uh uh lh or luteinizing hormone analog uh, the word analog again implies that it attaches to the same receptors um but is not actually you know a mimic of lh um so uh there was some thought that uh, you know acg would actually suppress natural lh production um you know uh surprisingly it doesn't um uh this hcg actually has primarily been used as a medication for, for fertility treatment in women um, and so it's, it's always used hundred percent of the time off label in men, um, just so you're aware, but, uh, the tests in women have shown no LH, um, suppression by using HCG. Um, so LH, um, the hormone and HCG, um, essentially again, the analog 
they attach specifically to Leydig cells in the um, testicles. So there's two main types of cells. There's Leydig and Sertoli cells. Leydig cells only function is testosterone production. Uh, and the Sertoli cells only function is produce production of sperm. So those are our two functions, right? So um, if if you have a failing um, tes testicle testicular production of testosterone, HCG will ramp that up. Um, and uh, the, you can use it long term. You can use it forever because it doesn't suppress anything else. There's nothing it suppresses, which is kind of cool. Um, that's one of the few things out there that doesn't cause you know a lot of feedback loops on on different um, um, endocrine glands. But ultimately, <clears throat> the way it increases fertility, even though it doesn't affect the Sertoli cells for sperm, it increases your natural production of testosterone from the testes themselves. So which means your intratesticular testosterone level, the testosterone within the testicles itself goes up, which is essentially like adding, it's like, an accelerator, you know, on on the testicles to produce more sperm. So H that's why we use HCG in men for fertility issues. Is it re it increases your intratesticular testosterone. And the most interesting thing about all of this to me is, again, if you do a testosterone injections, all that testosterone goes all throughout your body. But the only place it doesn't can't penetrate, it literally can't penetrate into the testicles. So your intratesticular testosterone, which is needed for sperm production, drops when you use exogenous testosterone. But you can take HCG while on TRT to keep up that intratesticular testosterone and keep, you know, um, at least some uh, sperm production going. But if your goal is to completely forego testosterone, then technically there's no harm in using HCG long term. And but the only people who would ever choose the more expensive option, um, which is less effective than testosterone injections as far as increasing testosterone levels, the only people who would ever choose that are people who are like literally actively right now today trying to get their their female spouse pregnant. So um, if if your goal you can maintain fertility by doing bursts of HCG. You can take Clomid. You can take other things. Typically, you don't need those long term. But if HCG were five bucks, I'd say yeah, go for it. Um, but HCG is not cheap. It just it, it isn't. It's not. Yeah, so, even from on. us, even from our uh, compounding pharmacies, testosterone is significantly cheaper compared to HCG. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I would say to this guy, sure, go that route if you want. But if your goal, if if you're, you'll increase some testosterone, you may feel better if you have hypogonadal symptoms. Um, but you definitely won't feel as good as you would, you know, at least physically speaking. Um, you wouldn't get the same physique benefits or any of the other benefits of higher testosterone levels um, as you would with... Uh, testosterone and your, your levels wouldn't get nowhere near what you, you can get you know because you're basically squeezing the testicles like work harder and you know so you may increase your production by 50 percent. but if, if you're already at 250 350 <laughs> you know it isn't really going to change things um so yeah that's yeah. that's my comments on that you know um uh, and, that, and that's that's true too because you know looking at his other thread where he had the hormones he was at about 350 free testosterone yeah so if that was before hcg you know if you add 50 percent to that you know what is that i'm not great at math so it'd be like 500 something 520 yeah you know not not bad you know but, but you could do it uh, cheaper you and, do it cheaper and you, we, <laughs> we could get you to a thousand you know, you know your yeah. level could be a thousand and you'd have twice the physique benefits twice those you know the benefits yeah. but again you know that that's what's so interesting about all this is you know a lot of these online clinics are just cookie cutters it's like here's your plan we don't care yeah. here's your here's your dose whatever but there's so much individual you know um 
uh, variance with all of this that we have to treat each person individually. So if someone came to us and they were like, I just want to do HCG monotherapy and this is why. And, you know, if it made sense, sure. But yeah, I, I haven't I, I guess I personally haven't met that patient yet who, mm -hmm. who, you know, who wants that or where that makes sense for. Yeah. So, Danito, I got to tell you, I was a bigger kid. I dealt with a lot of overweight issues and diet and exercise really helped me. I later in life had testosterone very similar to you, um, maybe even lower, I believe it was. But, you know, that 350, that is kind of on the lower end. And if these are some of your concerns and you have some weight to lose from it, all I've got to say is like, that's what I did. It helped. It put me back to where I was supposed to be. It let me be the man that I wanted to be um, and felt like I deserved to be. So, you know, try whatever you're trying, work with your doctors. But in terms of should you take HCG, TRT, would it help you? Yes, it would help you with the goals. Yes, it would help you because of the testosterone you have. TRT is going to be better than HCG for you. Um, you know, hope this video helps a little bit. Uh, good luck. Let us know. And if you know you want to work with us, cool too. If you want to work with the provider you're working with, also cool. Just um, hope it works out. And we're always happy to answer more questions in the future as you know stuff goes on.